Hey Internet, Brett here from Dangerous Music, and I'm going to show you how to create an aggregate group of Convert Series devices using Mac OS X to create a virtual interface of Convert Series devices from Dangerous Music that I can use in any core audio compatible DAW like Pro Tools or Cubase or Logic or whatever. It's really easy to do. Uh, you can search for the Audio MIDI Setup application in Spotlight, or you can find it in the Utilities folder in Applications. And once you've got it open, you'll see a list over here on the left of all the compatible core audio devices that are currently connected to the system. Now I've got four Convert Series devices right now connected via USB. I've got a Convert 2, which I'm going to use for monitoring. I've got two Convert 8s, which I'm going to use to feed a 2 bus plus, and a Convert 80 plus, which I'm going to use to capture that mix back into Pro Tools when I'm done with it. So over here in the left corner, I'm going to just create an aggregate device, which you can rename to anything you'd like. And in this case, I'll call it Dangerous Convert, since I'm using all Convert series devices. And once it's selected, I can just start adding, using these checkboxes, uh, whatever devices I would like to include in the group. So it doesn't really matter what order you put it in, because you can always reorder them later. So I'll put my AD Plus as the first pair of inputs. Uh, just so it's easier to find. You can also relabel them if you'd like. Some DAWs uh, do use these labels. Um, not all of them do, but uh, it is a little more convenient sometimes to just have them labeled. Uh, I'm also going to make sure I've got my Convert AD Plus selected as the clock source for my aggregate group because that's how I have it set up in the hardware. I've got the output of my Convert AD Plus word clock, daisy chain through the rest of my convert devices. So, uh, and they're all set to external word clock, except for that AD plus. I'm also going to turn off drift correction because I'm using convert series devices and all the convert series devices will do that drift correction automatically for you. You don't have to worry about it uh, happening in Mac OS X. So um, that just makes sure that they're real sample locked and accurate, ready to go. So um, once I've created this group, I can go ahead and open Pro Tools. And we can see here that I now have the dangerous convert aggregate group as an available playback engine in Pro Tools. And that I have that I.O. that I just created for in 18 out aggregate group is now available to me here as one big giant virtual interface. So that's it. That'll work in any other DAW just the same way. And that's aggregate groups. Enjoy.